Hi, grade two. It's Mrs. Stolt back again for our final day looking at our flowers. Although maybe it won't be our final day. Maybe I'll leave it in over the weekend and we'll take a look at them on Monday again. Um, yes, it looks like there's a moon behind me, but it isn't. <laughs> We're um, experimenting with a couple different lighting situations when I'm doing recording to try and help things be a little bit more visible for you. So uh, there it is. It's not the moon. It's just the light shining at us but I do need it on uh, for you to be able to see what's happening with the other camera, okay? I'm going to try to leave the camera still and just move the flowers around this time to see. And remember the one that we're specifically looking at is the one that I split the stem and uh, have one half of the stem in red and one half in blue. All right, so I'll cut to that screen and let's see what has happened now. Uh, it is now Friday two days, two full days that it has been in here. And one of the things, let's see if you can see it well enough, um, that I've noticed is especially on the blue, it really, and the red too, but the blue especially, I can just see it, it's gone further and further up and uh, even more of it has become colored blue and more of it has become colored red. Now I'm going to set that out and bring the flower part over. Uh, the red is very, very light, but you can see it just a little bit. Let me see if I use a pencil maybe. There's just a slight coloration of red again on the bottom section, but one of the things that I notice is even, like there's a little bit of red towards the bottom here, but most of it is blue, even on these parts of the um, leaf that's holding in the petals. And you certainly can tell very clearly the blue. All right, Let's see if I can hold that for you so you can see that blue. Okay, we'll go all the way around. You can see the blue coming up here. Again, it just surprises me that it's only around that outside edge and didn't color all of it. You can see it coming up a little bit here on each of those little veins, but most of it is like a little speckled pattern around there. And you truly can see, let's see if I get this going this way. So here, all right, you can definitely see here's blue and it's a much smaller section that is red. This half is blue, this half is red. Interesting, hmm? All right, let me put that one away and let's take a look at some of our other ones. I think I will leave it in there over the weekend and we'll see what happens. So here's our red one. All right, our one that's in just red. What do you think we would find if I sliced open the stem? Do you think we would find that we could see red inside the stem as well? That would be a great thing. I'll do that maybe on Monday. All right, can you see? Yeah, quite a bit of red on this one. And again, just at the tips, more just at the tips, a little bit more coloring than we had yesterday. And still the darkest part is around that very outside edge. A little bit of the green here has been tinged red as well. All right, but yeah. Oh, here, let me open that up. Can you see down in there? Cool experiment, huh? All right, let's take a look at the blue. Here's our blue. Oh, now this part is not in the water at all. And yet, can you see how that has turned a little bit blue there? And at each spot here and a little bit, even right there, it's blue. And the blue shows up so much better. Blue, blue. And if I hold this still so our camera can focus, you can see the blue along all the edges there. Interesting. And our purple. 
Last but not least, our purple, the one that I put red and blue dots in. And I think it is definitely, I can tell that it is definitely darker than the just blue one. And oh, it's harder to tell on these little parts. A little bit you can, but not as much. And it definitely is darker. You can see there's a little bit right there. But I'm sure to you it looks pretty blue still. Just it's a little bit deeper. If you were here and could uh, look at both of them side by side, you would see that this one is just a little tiny bit deeper, more indigo color than the plain blue. I think to make it more purplish, we would have needed to have more red and not so many drops of blue to have that show. Well, I hope you were able to see a little bit um, of the changes in our flowers. Going to cut back to me. Hi. All right. That was interesting. And I have been proved wrong. Okay. So it was correct. Uh, half of it stayed red. Half of it stayed blue. So how about that? Now, what else would a scientist do? They would do this experiment more than one time. They would start over and do it again and do it again and do it again to see if they got the same results each and every time. Do you think we would get the same results? That's part of being a scientist. Hope you're having fun at home, being creative, uh, being thoughtful, thinking about things, exploring, and having a great time. Hey, don't forget, I think it's Sunday is National Bike Day. Let's get those bikes out and go for a, a ride maybe around the block. Maybe your whole family can get out and go uh, biking for a little bit. Have a great rest of the day. Call me if you have any questions.